This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Welcome back to another episode of Think Tech Hawaii's Human Humane Architecture here with your host, uh, Martin Despang. Um, we're broadcasting live from our wonderful Honolulu, Hawaii, which after you see this show, you understand why it could be, again, a very exotic, inclusive uh, environment. And we're gonna um, introduce someone to you that you should already know if you're watching a couple of shows. Um, and that is one of the best uh, uh, ambassadors and diplomats for our, hopefully, again, um, exotic, inclusive Hawaii here. And uh, that person is someone who's homegrown on the island, and we're going to introduce uh, his father, who is Nathan Toothman. Hi, Nathan. Hey, Martin, how are you? I'm great. And uh, the way we see you now, you took this picture just a couple of minutes ago. So you're broadcasting in from the ground zero of Silicon Valley over at the West Coast in Menlo Park. And uh, thanks for having you. And if we can get the first picture, this is just us referring to um, previous shows. Uh, so on the, on the first picture, we see... Um, a show we did together, which we called Elevating uh, uh, Social Engineering. And the very first show was with my colleague Chris Leatham. And uh, that's referencing to that, the very picture at the bottom right. And just when you had me over, I just came back to produce this show. You compared that sort of prototype that you built in uh, Kailua here to this character at the very top right. And can you explain why that is? Um, well, it's kind of a term for some models is considered a Shrek model. Um, so it's kind of create a prototype that's more on the extreme side, um, and a little bit more outrageous. It's not necessarily, you know, exactly what you're going to build, but it's used to primarily spark debate, learning, um, conversations. Um, and so in, in that sense, that's kind of what the initial prototype was. Um, but it was to put the concept out there, something uh, bold, different, unique, and um, and it, it was it was helpful in that it, it gained that attention. Um, it brought people in like you who got interested in it, and, and other people um, that have supported Elevate. Uh, so it was kind of a crucial step in the early stages. And not that that was purely intentional, but it's kind of in hindsight that's kind of what it was. Mm -hmm. You know, my very personal, I'm a big fan of Elevate. Everyone knows uh, who knows me. And uh, I, if I have to say it in you know, a few words, I always say elevate brings back dignity and decency to dwelling. And so once you had you know, you know, imagined and actually built, manifested the Shrek, you started out in the last show with it, which is the big picture here, to think about how these could evolve, how these become you know, sort of populate and how they, how they can become more and become a family and how can they serve sort of demands and needs in multiple ways. But next picture, please. You needed to go back and really find out because um, you're also an engineer. So the engineering side and you uh, didn't let your rest to find out uh, more what the uh, um, anatomy of, of Elevate is. And so this is a show with our dear uh, colleague and friend uh, Howard Wig, and you having a little um, a 3D printed uh, uh, mini version of Elevate and going along with that your logo that you see at the very sort of bottom right. But uh, let's, that was then and now is now. So what has happened ever since, and this is what the show about is to update you guys on the amazing development of Elevate. And the next picture is us sitting over at your place a couple days ago and just thinking, you know, in what kind of context is your project in? And I refer to another show I did with DeSoto, obviously, here, which was about uh, Bucky Fuller and his geodesic dome, his Kaiser dome, but more specifically, actually, his um, Dymaxion house, which you see at the very bottom left. And when I showed this to you, which kind of similarities did you see to uh, elevate at that point, Nathan? Um, 
Although Dymaxion House was um, similar in some ways, uh, the other version, the one that's not shown here, was actually raised, kind of elevated in a similar way. Um, had areas for for water storage, had unique um, energy efficient aspects to it. Um, and then, you know, for the dome, the geodesic dome, the, the modularity of it, the, the nodes, um, the way it's assembled by small individual pieces, kind of repetitive in a, um, in a balanced way structurally that then creates a larger structure. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of what I saw in that. Absolutely. And it's sort of like the same sort of motivation to provide housing for the masses in, a, in an affordable way through prefabrication mostly using metal. And so uh, next picture is I compare it to another sort of mastermind in that area, and that is Jean Prouvé, as you can see in his tropical house. And he went out to build these, and basically they were meant to be for Africa, for tropical climates, and it was all prefabricated. It was all sort of value engineered down in the best sense of that word, and to be able to be shipped in, flown in by airplane, and everything basically metal, aluminum, so we see you up there at the top right following the same way and basically once again not being uh, satisfied to to think but to make right so you you sort of reconsidered the anatomy of 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 elevate from its original sort of shrek version down to sort of um down to a very skeletal skeletal version right yeah we um wanted to get something that was more um, lower cost than, than what we had, something that was portable, um, something that um, that could be done with less contractor, less um, labor cost associated with it. And so we had, we had a challenge from uh, an investor in Silicon Valley who challenged us to, to drop the cost, um, you know, approximately five-fold from what we were at the time. Uh, and so at the time, it kind of seemed outrageous or undoable, and so it kind of set a high bar of um, kind of rethinking a structure all the way down to the bare bones and, and, and what can be taken off, how it could be made lighter weight, how it could include technology more in its design. And so um, that, along with an inspiration from a simple box joint for a bench that I saw on Facebook, uh, it kind of took that idea and, and did it to create this single member, that um, S-shaped member that you see in the top right that contains the, the the foundation, the walls, the floors, and the other wall and the roof all in one section that, that we'll see coming up. So it's just kind of set by um, you know going for a higher bar than what we were shooting mm -hmm. for initially. And the maker you are, you got it done, you did another prototype and you you went on tour with it and this is the next picture here introduces your uh, partner in life and in business, Tiffany. Here, basically, this is this is Elevate, and you can look through the trailer, and I made sure to put in the picture at the top right. You can see this is not a long trailer. This is a short trailer, and Elevate in its sort of, you know, very sort of um, comprehensive and, and sort of generous way, as you will see later, uh, is to be able to be packed into that small trailer. Just like Prouvé packed everything in these small boxes and dropped them from the airplane, you basically put everything in this really sort of tiny trailer and went on tour and your first, or your stop was next picture. Where is that, Nathan? Uh, this is in Las Vegas at uh, Airstream Park um, there in Las Vegas. Uh, you can kind of see the Airstreams in the back. Um, so that, that wasn't our quite first stop. We, we did a few events here around um, the Bay Area. We did an event in Hayes Valley. Um, one in Oakland, and um, then we had this opportunity to take it out out here to Vegas. Um, but we were really excited about the fact we could put it in a trailer um, just to open up our opportunities because, you know, this is something we're still figuring out exactly what it is, where the, the best use cases of it are. So when we have that ability to literally take it to someplace and set it up in a couple hours, it just really opens up our opportunities. So we got just super excited about that, and that's, you know, why we had to build it, uh, this prototype, and then take it on the road mm -hmm. to show it off. And at this, at this time, as one can see here live, the snapshot is pretty much how you were, it's an ongoing process of investigation, and it's always been sort of perfected, and here you were experimenting with how it basically can provide shelter in the sort of unfold, opened up position that we're going to talk about a little later. But for the show here, then it basically went up and closed itself, which we see on the next picture. 
This is basically how it prepared itself for the Vegas uh, events, the Vegas night events, which we then see next picture uh, here uh, performing. And tell us also who is, because we have to explain who the guy in front there is, Brian. No, oh, <laughs> that's uh, Marley. That's an uh, alpaca. Uh, he's, he's a resident there at the Airstream Park. And, um, and then some of the other residents in the background there enjoying it as a um, kind of a pop-up bar um, use case there. Uh, we use it as like a pop-up wine bar. And then you have a, up here you have a 120-inch viewing screen with a rear projection uh, system there to, mm -hmm. to kind of show movies on it um, and bring people together. Uh, it was used for a wedding the night before this. Um, just for just really testing it out. Mm -hmm. um, and and it, it actually worked really well in this setting, and it actually brought a lot of life into this parking lot that um, it doesn't have any trees. You know, Vegas in general doesn't have any, many mm -hmm. trees, and so really serve you know multiple functions. And that's yeah. uh, what a lot of the use cases are, is just multiple things in one. Absolutely, that's the nature of Elevate. And what a party animal Elevate is, we see on the next picture here. And your llama is a great party animal too. So here you can see, you know, this is um, Elevate is sort of an invigorator and an incubator for, for activity. But uh, then you went back home and the next picture is uh, basically from here on, this is how um, I, I took the next couple of pictures together with you and this is how you welcomed me a few days ago um, back back home in the uh, temporary home in, in, again, ground zero of uh, Silicon Valley where, you know, it's it's like for me it was surprising in the morning people jogging and all these Google people and, and Facebook people basically whereas here, let's just be honest, uh, you know, Elevate being homegrown, it just had a hard time here being sort of, um, you know, gain its respect. Whereas over there, it's refreshing to see everyone stopping by and chatting you up and asking what is this and, and liking it. So it's really refreshing to see. And also you see here that sort of this um, um, uh, combination and duality and synergy potentially between the automotive realm and the architecture realm. And maybe we take the next picture to illustrate that. Maybe you can say a couple of things more about some uh, a potential development of Elevate in that direction. Um, are, are you at number 11 now? I am, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so here you're kind of starting to see, for one, we're showing how you can park under it. You know, that's one of the always the uh, concepts is that you um, uh, can use that space under there for parking or for um, get-togethers, as we saw earlier. Um, what you can see here is um, just starting to mock up some floor systems. A roof system and then just a real simple wall system. So we, we kind of stepped away from the living aspects of it for a little bit to, um, uh, because of the challenges with you know any living unit and the man structure and, and it just creates greater requirements. And so uh, we stepped away from it a little bit, but now we're coming back to it um, to cause that's always been the ultimate vision for it. And um, just kind of rapidly prototype, test out the floors, um, and, and in a way that it's a do-it-yourself sort of kit, like a homeowner could do it. It doesn't take a contractor. Uh, it's kind of like a giant piece of IKEA furniture, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, and so in this case, I'm holding up a flexible solar panel that would go up onto the roof panel. And so when you, if you were to get this kit, uh, whenever that when that time comes, is you know the pizza pie shape would, for the roof would have the solar panel already embedded in it, uh, waterproofed, uh, with a system that then sealed that onto uh, the other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, in a similar way, the, the walls would already be pre-designed and pre-functioning the floors. Uh, so it kind of come as a, as a kit of parts and just mm -hmm. assembled on site with um, you know, unskilled individuals. So we're just kind of testing those things out here. Um, both in the raised position and then in the lower position yeah. as well. And I put in the two pictures. One is a reference to my German background here where my professor and my structures professor Werner Sobeck uh, did this uh, sort of um, house for the typical house for the Germans, which is uh, actively powered with photovoltaic uh, enclosure and, and, and smart and Mercedes were plugging in as being sort of the energy storage and obviously Silicon Valley and Ground Zero being in the heart of where Tesla is as well. I was throwing in the Model 3 as sort of, you know, being sort of hand in hand with, with Elevate potentially. But let's jump to the next picture because you already said, and, and uh, you, you reconnected to the inhabitation, which I was really happy to see. Here we introduced two more members of the Elevate team. 
uh, which is a wonderful Lexi and 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 uh, basically um, you know Christian as as your kids and so. Um, you were uh, so you can. I'm, I was so pumped up that yeah, you can, you can, you can dwell and elevate again. And but before you do that, number thirteen is showing what potentially for that. So the next picture, what the trunk could could sort of um, be comprised of. What are you simulating there in the shot? Um, we're just showing like a carving out a small area that of the trunk of the tree as a shower area, um, the bathroom area. Um, it's just in one case kind of mixed in with the um, spiral staircase. And so that, that would be probably a lower cost option to um, use that space down there for that uh, than putting it up higher. Mm -hmm. So it kind of depends on, on who would be using it, where the bathroom would go. Um, but this is just kind of illustrating. It's a tight space, but um, it's kind of like an RV sort of shower situation. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of depends on who the customer is, where, where they would want yeah. that sort of feature. But um, just trying to pack in as, as much uh, as possible into mm -hmm. a structure, and but still making it livable, making it an aesthetic. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the shower would be behind the sort of implied here a spiral staircase. And let's let's walk that up and go to the next picture. And there we are. We're back in business. We're back in elevate, but in a very very different way. Whereas you know elevate was rather conventionally constructed and spatially conventional. But here we go. This is a totally new uh, beast of of elevate uh, a skeletal um, elevate. That next picture shows uh, all you guys basically being being up there and this is just a fantastic evolution of of a creature again that is homegrown in Hawaii and has ventured out and and is really thriving in the Silicon Valley as one as one can see here and the next picture is uh, doing that days and nights so not only you know is elevate spectacular below as a sort of uh, incubator for for uh, socializing, but you know it, it can be inhabited, and you're you're having a movie night up there. I mean, how fantastic is that? And go to the next picture. This is you. You already referred to that. That um, this is this is again work in progress, and you already talked about sort of the the, the kits of parts and and components um, that that we were talking about. But let's jump to the next picture, which is the fascinating. Thing that then basically the next uh, the next day uh, you started out to transform back to the to the mandala and 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 talking you is you're 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 pointing out this is this is doable for a couple which you're demonstrating here right yeah I mean that's uh, every part is um, designed to weigh less than sixty pounds um, so that one person can carry it it's easier for two. Um, and that it doesn't take any sort of special skill to, at the end, assemble it. It's just going to be engineered with all, with all of those aspects included in it, and um, and very doable. Mm -hmm. And the main one of the main things there is it helps take away a lot of the labor costs that's associated with specialized labor. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I can confirm that with the next picture because you you put me to work and made me part of that and. Uh, <laughs> It, it worked out, but here we're already in the process of sort of uh, transformation down to the mandala is half done, and now we're uh, putting up here some some uh, some shading elements here, which we then see in the next picture. Pretty much completed our project, and can you talk about the potential use of that situation or condition uh, that Elevate takes on at this point? Yeah, so we um, we have there's 12 cells that are formed with, with the 12 arms, and so what, what we're showing here is half up, half down. So that could be a use case maybe for like a farmers market um, where you have booths on the outside, um, and then on the inside you might have say like an eating area, um, maybe have a movie display. Um, so that would be one use case there. Um, within the corporate context, um, there's some you know, interest there in Vegas where we're um, putting forth three structures there to use to, to bring more life to a corporate setting and to allow them to have vendor fairs on a large open area. Uh, so there's, it just creates a lot of flexibility that you wouldn't otherwise um, have in a structure. Um, and we're still figuring out like what all those uses would be. but. Um, a lot of it comes down to this um, 
aesthetics, the, the shade aspects, um, the elevate square footage uh, of the the circle is 200 square feet. Mm-hmm. And when you lower down into the mandala, then the, in the full mandala position, it's 1,400 square feet. Mm-hmm. So that's a significant space transformation. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if you look at only the, the footprint of the trunk of Elevate, you know, what effectively takes up for the pedestrian area, that's only 30 square feet. Mm-hmm. So you're transforming from effectively taking up 30 square feet um, to then transforming to 1,400 square foot of shade um, and doing that in a very cost-efficient manner in a very fast manner is, um, we think, is pretty exciting. It, it absolutely is. And the next picture shows us that this hybrid condition of, to the right, you can still see half of the up condition up there, and to the left, you can see the a mandala situation. And it's, it's still an experiment. You're, you're pushing, you know, as these great uh, predecessors, Bucky Fuller and Provade, they're just pushing the, you know, material to the limits and steel with these amazing tensile qualities. I mean, you can't uh, make it better and, and push it more to the extreme as what, you know, creatures do with their, with their skeletons and with their bones. They're absolutely, you know, absolutely perfected uh, to, to be minimal and, you know, not to carry as little as possible weight around. And this is exactly what, what Elevate uh, wants to do. So um, I, uh, I allowed myself to sneak away at this point here and spent the day next picture with one of our previous guests and most uh, activist journalist uh, Kurt Sandburn here, who then uh, came back in the evening and we spent the evening together, uh, everyone around Elevate and uh, even into the night, as you can see at the very bottom there. So that's also part of Elevate that you just like um, bringing in you know, ac- uh, opinions and and um, and impressions and and assessment from wherever possible way. So elevate is sort of this ongoing uh, laboratory um, uh, all all the time. So while uh, I had fun and you know we came back and it was evening and and Kurt saw it, but. Um, uh, only the next morning, I basically was able to witness the, the fruits of, uh, of your hard work over the day, uh, where he had immediately sort of incorporated some of the findings and, and thoughts we had sort of been brainstorming over the day. And uh, we really tried to capture this with camera, with like the Plano function on our iPhones, but, but you couldn't. So uh, we basically uh, decided to do a little uh, self-produced, that's why it's very dilettant, a uh, video clip, and if we can uh, get that to run now here, that would be great. And you can uh, explain now while we watch, Nathan. Okay, hey, have you started it? Yeah, we have started it. Okay. Yeah, so this is in the, the full mandala position. Uh, the plants you see there on those walls are basically what you take from the tree and just right now they're just kind of hung in those areas to define those spaces and to create some more life. Um, but it's a series of triangles, uh, large triangles and smaller triangles that all come up to uh, a center point. Um, and I, so it creates a, a really interesting courtyard in, in the center, really nice um, space to gather in. And then each of those cells going out is uh, 100 square foot. Uh, cells for for different uses that we're working on, and uh, just you know today actually got it mocked up with the um, center tripod, um, such that all the fabric hooks to that, and so the fabric stays within the structure as you raise it up and lower it down. So just in the same way an umbrella, you know, fabric all stays within it. It's, it's very similar to that, um, and actually have a way now that just one person can actually um, make that transformation in about a half hour. Uh, so, well, yeah, we're, like you said, we're still prototyping it and figuring it out, um, mm-hmm. but it's uh, pretty exciting. Absolutely, me too. And as the last picture is the next one here and the last one, which is my favorite picture, um, which Tiffany took. And it's just like amazing how, I mean, you know, living in the trees, being a tree, but also at daytime being potentially something totally different. And I'm, we talked about that probably the next show is dedicated to a, a little sort of um, a little time lapse of a day in and around Elevate of different dwellers. And this is so super exciting, uh, Nathan, I can't even tell you. So let's um, bring our permanent background picture back, which is what you referred to. 
uh, which is in the back. If I would go to the side, which I'm doing now, you can see the tripod and you can see you and you can see that fire pit in the middle there and have your uh, sort of urban nomads uh, gathering uh, around it. But already, we're already at the beginning of a of next show to continue to monitor and, and be with Elevate, who is again homegrown, but has ventured out to, I have no doubts, at some point come back and populate this island, which is so in need of it for so many ways, uh, accessory dwelling unit, urban nomad shelter, and uh, in parking lots in so many ways. So I, it seems to me that, you know, Elevate needed to go out into the world uh, to then sort of gain his or her credits and basically come back uh, to the island and, and take it. Um, you know, as in, in victory. Uh, with that, Nathan, thank you so much uh, for having been with us and sharing with us the amazing evolution of Elevate. And yeah, keep yeah. on keep on elevating us. Thanks. That's what we need here back on the rock. Oh, I, I will. And thank thank you so much for um, having me on the show and for for coming over here and all of your input and helps that continuity between you know the thinking there and the thinking here. It's a uh, uh, very valuable. All right. Well, thank you so much. Hello also to the rest of the crew. Uh, wonderful <laughs> Lexi, Tiffany, and uh, Christian. Uh, hope to see you guys soon and for sure see you guys here on, on the next show that shows the next amazing evolution of Elevate. And until then, uh, see you guys all uh, back uh, next week. And until then, please stay elevated as perfectly demonstrated by this amazing pioneering team here. Thank you guys. All right. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Great We're show. Good. I think. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, so it's going to take probably till like oh, eight, goodness. seven ish, eight ish. And when I see it, yeah. before you say it, I, I send you the link. But you get it directly from Rob and yeah. Yeah. Cool as well. Okay. okay.